Welcome to another QuickSoft tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at using QuickPort and QuickJoint together to design the eaves and apex haunches. We'll work with the frame that we designed earlier. So I will open it now in QuickPort, reopen Frame 02, and this is the frame that we saw earlier. I'll view the bend a moment diagram, zoom out slightly. OK, this is dead and pose and linear elastic. Now, before we export the eaves, haunches and loadings, we want to see which is the worst combination of actions. And that's usually dead and pose and notional. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to export this eaves, haunch. I can see the moment is slightly higher on the right hand side. So edit. Copy for quick joint, eaves haunch. And we see the prompt in the corner here says click near the eaves haunch. I'll click near the eaves haunch. OK, I've already got quick joint running. I'm going to select quick joint. And we'll select a new connection. We can see that eaves or valley haunch is already selected. I'm going to click next. OK, this form we would normally type in all the details, column size, rafter size, etc. But all we have to do here is click Paste. Next. Again, this form is for the loads. We don't need to type them in. We'll click Paste. However, this panel here for the reversal has not been filled in. So we'll return to Quick Port. We will change the combination to dead plus win one. And I can see that we've got a bending moment of 149.9 kilonewton meters. I'll just check that the other combination is less, which it is. Switch back. Edit. Copy for quick joint. Eve's haunch. And I'll click near the worst case. Switch back to quick joint and select paste. And it's come in here. Click next. Now this is a brief description of how we're going to form the connection. Quick joint will have put in some sensible defaults. Quite intelligent in this respect. I'm going to leave these set as they are. Most of the time you will do the same. Next. This is just a form to say that it's finished and to warn us that we must always look at the calculations to check that the connection has indeed passed. Finish. OK, this is the connection. We can look at the calculations and we see that it's passed. Scroll down very quickly. There's very detailed calculations. Everything that we might want to know is here and it's very clear close it. Now, looking at this, it's put a top stiffener in. That looks rather unusual. Now, in Eurocode, we are using Eurocode here, um, we have this thing called a KWC factor. We can change anything in this diagram simply by clicking on it. So I'm going to click on KWC. And we see this form come up. And there's an explanation of what KWC is. But basically, it's a sort of a principal stress thing, which looks at the stresses acting on the flanges in all different directions. Now, in the top stiffener, there's not really any bending moment or axial load there as well. So I'm going to confidently change that to non-conservative and click OK. And you can see KWC has changed. Now, the easy way to have a look at that connection again with that change is just to run the wizard, which I'm just going to fly through and finish. And we can see now that, that stiffener is not required. And that's what we would expect. So I'm just going to have a look at the calculations again and just check and everything is passed. So that's the... Um, that's the eaves haunch done. We could uh, do anything with this. We could add some flange stiffeners. I'll just quickly do that. We don't need them, but I will put them on like so. 
take them off again. Everything's available here. We could more stiffener. I mean, if more stiffener was required, then the wizard would have added it. But we can alter things. We can alter centers, anything, section sizes. We can even use custom section sizes, actually. Right. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to call it Eves. And I'm going to close it. And now we do the apex haunch. We go back to quick port. I'm going to go to the uh, dead and pose and notional again. Edit. Copy for quick joint. Apex haunch. Click near the apex haunch. Switch to quick joint. New connection. We can now see that the apex haunch is highlighted. Next. Paste. Next paste and now we've got to do the reversal so we'll go to quick port again we'll change the combination to dead plus wind and that gives us 29.43 I'll just check the other case it's less so it's edit copy for quick joint apex haunch click near it Back to quick joint, paste, next, next, finish. And there's our apex haunch. View the calculations, passed. So all that remains to be done is to save it and call it apex. Here's a 3D view of the connection. And these are the formal printed results. This is just for the one connection. If I close, save the results. We also have a useful schedule showing all the fittings, all the welds. And if we click here, we can print out all the connections on the project. Simple. And that concludes our tutorial.